Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through fourth grade English, week number 10 and day number five. The content may be found on page number six to seven of your workbook. And if you have your work, please, workbook, please go ahead and turn over there. If not, you're welcome just to watch on the board with me. The content is going to come in front of you as well. Uh, today's lesson is going to be about listening and verbal training. All right. So we get a chance to practice listening skills, right? Just like we've been doing for a couple of weeks over there. And we're gonna keep doing that every day number five of every week, all through the year. Because when you come out of this program, you're gonna be a good listener, okay? You're not gonna be interrupting people when they are in the middle of their sentences and acting rude over there. You're not gonna be doing that. You are gonna be a good listener. But how do I know if somebody is in the middle of their sentence? Well, the way you know that, is to watch their pitch. Okay, you're gonna watch their pitch. Sometimes, lots of times, their pitches are gonna be raised if they are in the middle of their sentence. And when they finish making their sentences, their pitches are gonna be lowered a little bit. They call those things intonations. They call those things speech cadences, which we talked about before. So let us try to put those things into practice right now. So how do we do this? I am gonna read a scripture to you following the speech cadences and the rise and fall of the peaches and the sounds that we learned before and you get a chance not to interrupt me okay well guess what you can't interrupt me right now because you're behind the computer but let's just try to practice that together so well i'm going to listen to what they have to talk about without interrupting okay practicing good listening skills so you watch out for the rise and fall of my peaches and as you learn how to do that, potentially you're going to be a good speaker yourself as well. And people are not going to be rudely interrupting you before you finish making your point. All right. So I'm going to read a scripture while we're reading a scripture, because in addition to learning how to be a good listener, we want to intertwine, couple together the knowledge and your learning experience with the knowledge of God. So you don't use that knowledge to do something real bad, like lots of people on the outside. They got a ton of education. They have lots of really weird certificates attached to their names, but they're gonna use that knowledge to steal credit card numbers online. What's the purpose? What's the use of that knowledge? How did they do that? Well, their education, their learning experiences were not tightly coupled with the fear of God. So that's the reason we're trying to do this over here, all right? And that's what the Word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter six. Moms and dads, if you are wondering why, turn to Deuteronomy chapter 6 and start to read from verse 1 over there. You are going to see God recommends that when you come in, talk about God. When you go out, talk about God. Well, that means intertwine godly values into every conversation of yours. All right. So I am going to read this uh, scripture from the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 1. You get to listen to me. Then the second stage of the process is you are going to repeat right after me. All right. Love the Lord your God and keep his, keep his requirements, his decrees, his laws, and his commands always. Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 1. All right. Did you see how my peaches changed a little bit? And then when I finished making my sentence, uh, making my point, my peach when it's down. All right, let me do it again. Love the Lord your God and keep his requirements, his decrees, his laws and commands always. Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse one. All right, so repeat after me. Say, love the Lord your God and keep his requirements, his decrees, his laws and his commands always. Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 1. All right, let's do it again. Love the Lord your God and keep his requirements, his decrees, his laws, 
and his commands always. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 1. All right. So dads and moms and guardians, please go ahead and practice that with your children so they can be good listeners and potentially good speakers as well. All right. Did you get something from it? I sure hope so. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I'll be your friend. So don't you?